Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I want to compare the difference between the Pede Peda Ink Matte Blur versus the new Innisfree Vivid Cotton Ink Blur version. And I thought this would be a nice comparison because when I first got the Pede Peda Ink Matte Blur, I thought, oh, this is something really different because, you know, it gives like a blur effect and stuff. But when Innisfree Vivid Cotton Ink with cotton ink blur decided to release their own version i thought you know what why not do a comparison and see what it's like i have done like a penny Pena ink the velvet versus innisfree with it cotton ink comparison recently so i'll put it up here for you guys to check out but i thought this would be a nice addition in my channel to show you guys the comparison since i i have all the colors if you guys are wondering why i may sound different i'm actually really sick at the moment like my skin is so dry, my lips is like so patchy and so dry but I still want to do a video for you guys so hope you guys enjoy this video and again this hopefully will be a very in-depth review of the comparison between these two so I'll be talking about the color ranges, the packaging, the texture, the staining, the longevity and stuff like that so let's get started for the packaging, obviously both of them look completely different. So this is the Innisfree Vivid Cotton Ink Blur and this is the Pena Pena Ink Matte Blur. So you can see that the Innisfree one is actually much more wider than the Pena Pena. In regards of how much gram is inside, the Pena Pena actually have 4 gram and the Ink Matte Blur actually have 3.8. So definitely the industry one definitely have more contained inside compared to the Pena Pena Ink Matte Blur. But packaging wise, I like both of them. They are both obviously very different. And I like that both of them, you can really see what color is actually in the product itself. Obviously, the Innisfree one is not a transparent cover, but you can the color itself inside definitely is identical to the packaging, which I was really impressed when I first swatched this. And obviously, the ink one, you get this a frosty finish, but also like a transparent look, so you can actually see the inside of it. For the applicator, they're completely different. So let me see if I can focus. Yep. So you can see the industry one obviously is bigger than the Pede Pena. The industry one on the top is much more pointy while the Pede Pena one is a little bit flat on the bottom but it sort of angled at the same time. Both applicators they are actually pretty good when applying so not fast with it but definitely the Pede Pena um, Dofu applicator is much more so smaller than the industry. Now in regards of the scent, the Pede Pede Ink Matte Blur has like this really nice vanilla scent or like even a little bit of like a salted caramel smell. I really like it a lot and it does fade off later on so it's not that um, overwhelming on your lips if you are really sensitive with scent. Compared to the Innisfree Blur, this one has more of like a floral scent to it and it's much more stronger than the Pede Pena Ink Matte Blur. But again, I'm not fast with the scent but obviously both scents are completely different and the longer you wear throughout the day, it does fade off eventually. For the texture, the Pede Pena Ink Matte Blur have a very moussey texture which means that it is actually pretty thick when you first apply it. I love using this as a gradient finish because a little goes a long way on this and it gives you a very nice blur effect when you just apply it in the middle part and then it just spread out. It's just, it is a beautiful gradient lip and I think partly because of that the moussey texture just helps it a lot to just blend it nicely onto the lips. Compared to the Innisfree Vivid Cotton Ink Blur, it is much more of a creamier finish and a little bit like a glossy texture but also feels very airy at the same time. In regards of which one is much more comfortable, I would say the Innisfree Vivid Cotton Ink is much more comfortable on the lips, especially for those who have dry lips like me, myself. And I think partly because of that is because the Innisfree one contains rosehip oil, which I love because it's just, it smells so nice and it helps with your dry lips. And yeah, but again, the Pele Pad Ink Matte Blur definitely has a thick texture to it which means you can definitely feel it on your lips it's not airy at all like the Innisfree Vivid Cotton Ink is much more airy and you can feel a little bit of mousse texture but not as thick 
regard of the staining, I would have to say that the Innisfree Vivid Cotton Ink actually stained more than the Pere Pera, surprisingly. But when I did swatch them on my arm, both have really strong stain. But actually applying on the lips, the Innisfree one, only a couple colours actually stain on the lips, which has like a pink stain, which are number 4 and number 7. The other 6 colours, they don't really stain at much, so it doesn't really bother me. And the Petal Ink Matte Blur doesn't stain at all compared to like the Petty Petta Ink Velvet. So if you guys really like the Petty Petta Ink Velvet but didn't like the staining, I would definitely recommend this because this one doesn't stain at all which is great. For the longevity, the Innisfree Vivid Cotton Ink actually lasts longer than the Pele Pela. The Innisfree Vivid Cotton Ink Blur actually lasts from 6 to 7 hours before you actually have to touch up. I know, it's amazing. Compared to the Pele Pela Ink Matte Blur, this one only lasts about 5 to 6 hours before you actually have to touch up. So overall, both of them do last quite a long while like the Petty Pella Ink Matte Blur I was actually surprised how long lasting this is but obviously the Innisfree one definitely bit the Petty Pella so yeah but I mean I'm not fast usually when I do you know take the product out I usually bring it out just in case I have to touch it up anyway and I mean they are both very small and very lightweight to actually carry so not that fast but definitely Innisfree lasts longer than the Petty Pella for the transfer test, I have my serviette again and I'm just gonna fold it into half. And so on this side here, I have the Pede Pede Ink Matte Blur and on this side here, I have the Innisfree Vivid Cotter Ink Blur. So let's see. Alrighty, so this is the Pede Pera Ink Matte Blur compared to the Innisfree Vivid Cotton Ink Blur. So you can see that the Pede Pera one actually have much more of a transfer compared to the Innisfree. And also I feel like the Pede Pera one, you can see all the little particles. I don't think it's my... It doesn't look like it's my dry patches. It just looks like the remaining moussey particles like lingering around my lips has just come off. But definitely not my dry patches. Finally, the color ranges. So as always, I like to swatch my colors on a paper right here. And so on the top here, these are all the um, Pele Pele Ink Matte Blur. So the Pele Pele Ink Matte Blur have 10 colors compared to the Innisfree. It only has 8 colors. And surprisingly, there's actually not a lot of similar similarities between these two colors, which I was really surprised because I expected it to be very similar. But for the Pele Pele Ink Matte Blur, for the color ranges, you can see it has a lot of red and brown undertone. I just wish that they would have make it much more a variety, you know, like pink color or like orangey shade and stuff. But you can see a lot of it have a lot of red and brown undertone. And I think I mentioned that in the video as well. Compared to the Innisfree Vivid Cotton Ink Blur, you can see that they were trying to make it, you know, um few different selection and my favorite is actually number eight because it's like a beautiful flamingo pink color and I just thought it was such a unique color compared to usual pink color that you always find you know with Korean beauty but I like the ranges more on the Venus free one because you have the red, you have the pink, you even have the mauve shade which is my favorite number three. You have the brown, you have the you know you know a few like red colors but I feel like they could have like cut off like one red and put something else into it but similarities wise I couldn't really find much different there were not a lot of like similar similar colors or even identical one which I was really surprised but the closest I can find is maybe number seven um, Pele Pera with the Innisfree number two or the Innisfree number three with the Pele Pera number seven number eight and the Pele Pele number 3 and Innisfree number 4 but again they don't look the same at all if you guys can see on my close-up swatches 
the Pere Pere Ink Matte Blur. This ranges between eight to nine dollars depending where you get them from. And for the Industry Vivid Concert Ink Matte Blur ranges between six to eight dollars. So you can tell that the Industry one is actually cheaper than the Pere Pere, even though the Industry actually contain more than the Pere Pere. And I'm sure you guys, I will probably say in the comment box below, but a few of you guys have already mentioned that you've noticed that Pere Pere has increased the price and has reduced the amount on it. Not sure why they are doing that but I mean I will still buy it and try it because overall it is still a good product. I still like both of these depending on you know what I feel like wearing. To be honest like if I want something really lightweight and something much more natural and just something comfortable I would definitely go for the Innisfree with it cotton ink matte blur but if I don't mind something heavier or much more of a um warm tone autumn color shade or something scented i guess or something moussey comforting on the list i would go for the pere pere ink matte blur so i hope you guys find this video helpful like the comparison between this is actually not really similar surprisingly compared to the pere pere ink velvet versus the innisfree vivid cotton ink but overall i love this both and let me know down below what comparison you would like me to compare next because i really like comparing this type of videos for you guys but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next channel. Bye!